fell on the 4th of July celebration in Saudi Daisy this afternoon. So how did the weather actually affect the turnout there? News Channel and John Madewell spent the afternoon at the lake in Saudi Daisy. And John, how was the crowd? Well, John and Natalie, as the showers moved through, people huddled underneath tents for cover, but most found the showers as a cooling relief that didn't dampen the independent spirit. The Saudi Daisy crowd wouldn't let this drizzle fizzle out their day. All along the banks of Saudi Lake, people pitched tents and enjoyed each other's company. This group has been coming here since they were kids, and they come big. Ten spots in a row, all friends and family here. How many people is that? Oh, man. Maybe 50. And Chancey Richard gives a sincere nod to the history behind this holiday. The fourth means that we have independence. Independence and freedom to live and to worship God in the manner we want to. The Saudi festival caters to several interests. Looking under the hood of American classic cars drove many down sentimental roads. Cliff Lowrance started restoring this 1966 Plymouth when his son was a teenager. And when he waxes nostalgic, Cliff sees a patriotic path woven in the history of cars like his. I mean, this would have been an old Route 66 car, you know. So you think about Independence Day and you think about you know, taking vacations with your family. A lot of times, back in the times I was growing up, your families only had a week's vacation. That was usually done during the 4th of July, you know. Mm -hmm. So it, it does bring you back to those old, those old memories. Old ones and new ones painted on. This is Abigail's fourth 4th of July and her most red, white, and blue ever. Her father says the outfit says our thank you. Out, our men and women out there in the country are supporting us and fighting for us, and we want to show our patriotism towards us. So we do this there kind of every year with her. She dresses up. Now the Saudi celebration culminates tonight with a fireworks show, and if you want to go, you need to be in place by nightfall. Traditionally, they set off the fireworks as soon as it's dark. Natalie, back to you. All right, John, thank you. And